Brian Powell of Odd Run Far here with Mike Foote for the North Face Endurance Challenge. How you doing, Mike? Doing great. Last time we were chatting, you had just finished a fifth, I believe, at UTMB? Yeah, yeah, back at the end of August. Yeah. Um, how has training gone since then? How's recovery first? I mean, that's a yeah. lot of effort, a lot of training getting there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been good. You know, it's been a switch up this fall. Uh, you know, leading up to UTMB is always a big... Uh, big mountain long day slow grind kind of push and then you know you just kind of take off that volume and this fall is a mixture of for me coaching cross country uh hanging out in missoula a lot more mm -hmm. and you know it's been good i've uh honestly done more like workouts yeah yeah like running fast running fast yeah and racing yeah i, I did like uh four different races in between utmb and here I mean, some shorter stuff, yeah. but um, a 50 miler down in Chile and a, a marathon in Moab and a couple of like shorter ones around Missoula. And uh, it's been fun. It's been a different fall for me. Usually I just like kind of do the training thing and not racing, but I don't know, I threw in some more like hard stuff this time, which has been good. Yeah, so I actually saw you down at uh, the Moab Trail Marathon. We weren't covering the race, but uh, very impressive run down there. I know Sage took a lo little long turn, yeah. but oh, yeah. regardless of that, you guys would have been neck and neck right. for yeah. a marathon. So that's got to give you some confidence in terms of your speed. Yeah, yeah, and it was fun to, I hadn't raced a marathon in like five or seven years, <laughs> <laughs> so so it'd been a while, and uh, I mean, that course is extremely technical, as you know, so that definitely uh, even the playing field, even though it was a little bit shorter, but it yeah. did feel good. It felt good to kind of be at like an aerobic threshold, what it felt like an aerobic threshold almost all day long. <laughs> so the intensity here will be a little less. Though. Yeah, yeah, I mean... It's hard to say the intensity here will be less than anything because it always feels very intense no matter what. From the gun, yeah. 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 I mean, how is that? I mean, there's such a deep field. Unlike, say, UTMB, where you guys did a pretty good job of holding yourselves back this year. Right. Are you going from the gun? Are you sort of settling into your own race? Yeah, I always settle into my own race no matter what. But I'm definitely, I want to I wanna be more aggressive than normal, which still doesn't mean... I mean, to be aggressive in this race is to hold on, you know? <laughs> so it's always a different thing every time. But yeah, no, I'm, I'd, I'd like to kind of see where my limits are, like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, that involves, you know, putting yourself in the mix earlier on. And as opposed to, this isn't a race where you play catch up. UTMB, you can play catch up a little bit more. And there's mm -hmm. that whole dynamic. But this is a race of, it's a race of attrition and trying to be in the mix but also not being stupid it's that fine balance and we'll just see what the day lends us there are going to be people who go off the front mm -hmm. and yeah stupid i mean not stupidly yeah. but yeah going all in for the win yeah. knowing yeah. that there's a good chance they're yeah. going to blow up yeah but the problem with that is there's 10 guys yeah. who are going to do that and yeah somebody's going to stick it yeah i know i know it's true <laughs> <laughs> it's so true and you know it's never been my race strategy especially in an event like this and yeah. you're so methodical at utmb like yeah and so it's, it's trying to find that balance somewhere in between for me will probably be you know let me perform to my best potential yeah, yeah. you were uh you took part in a race this uh this september off the course behind the scenes yeah the first the rut 50k yeah. up in montana yeah, uh how'd that turn out it was great, you know, uh, definitely uh, wanted it to be a really fun Montana style event, but also one that really had that, you know, mountain style to it, you know, off trail, steep ridge lines, alpine, bad weather, <laughs> yeah, all the above. And uh, we had, it was a complete success this year. Yeah. yeah. It was a reasonable sized field. There, there was, you know, some good runners, not, mm -hmm. not the competition that you, you're racing here on Saturday, right, of course. but uh, next year. Skyrunning Ultra Final. Yeah, we nailed the bid for the uh, Skyrunner World Series Ultra Final and uh, couldn't be more excited. You know, I think it, our ethos matches that and that, you know, the course fits the bill pretty well. Uh, of course, we have sections that are runnable trail, but there's definitely steep scree fields, technical ridge lines, exposure, you know, all I, the above. I mean, is it true, it's fair to say that it was in part inspired to fill that role, the, the sort of sky running in the U.S.? Yep, absolutely. And also, you know, we wanted to create, there's some amazing races in Montana, um, but none that really chase that kind of world-class feel of bringing people from out of the region mm -hmm. to the area. And uh, we really wanted to do that a little bit and kind of host an event, you know, that brings a field like this event does in our yeah. backyard. And so... You know, hopefully that's what will happen next September. Having seen some preliminary schedules, it looks like uh, that's yeah. going to be the case. I, I sure yeah. hope so. That's my goal. That's what we're working towards. Nice. So. Well, uh, Unfortunately, I can't run it. <laughs> oh, come on. Make uh, make Wolf take race day duties. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alternate years. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thought. Nice. Well, uh, best of luck this weekend, yeah. and uh, Thanks, keep growing that race. Yeah, appreciate it. 
Love the, love the new North Face. Well, I, I, they're comfy. Very, very breathable. Well, you know, it's that time of year where you just don't need to be in running shoes unless you're running. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You've got them all warmed up and ready to Your go. Your feet it's slippers. Just like, they only want to be in. Yeah, it's slipper season. Yeah. You know how it goes. You wanna, <laughs> should I have them at the finish for you? I would appreciate that. Absolutely. All right. <laughs>